This is Tom's windmill. It's kind of a breezy day. It just shut down. Um, this is a 13 foot diameter windmill that we made about, um, I don't know, about 15 years ago. It hasn't been down for about three years for maintenance, but it's been terribly reliable. I'll talk a little about the system. So this was running just a minute ago, but it's shut down now and I'll show you why in a minute. Um, it's on a 60 foot tilt down tower. I'll walk over and look at the tower. This is one of the tower anchors. The anchor is a piece of pipe welded to a tire, um, a rim, and we buried it about four feet deep. All the anchors are the same way. And it tips down this way, the wind turbine would land up there. <clears throat> Tower's made out of three sections of 12 gauge, six inch tubing. And the tower tilts down on this. There's only one pivot on this tower base. Um, it's better to have two pivots, one for the gym pole, one for the tower, but I used to do it this way. And that's the gym pole. And at this end, you can see we have a winch. We operate this winch with a drill to lower the tower. It's very easy to lower. And these cables hold the gym pole up so that when we lower the tower, the gym pole doesn't tip over. So there's four anchors. There's one at the winch, there's one on each side, and then one on the far side. <clears throat> and you can see how we make the couplers. It's just a piece of six inch tubing that I split. And welded some bar stock too, and a bunch of through bolts. This is a good kind of coupler because it makes the coupler actually the strongest part of the tower, where a lot of towers, the coupler is the weak spot. <clears throat> See if I can get in the power room and show you the balance of system here. Huh, I can. So in here we have a 48 volt battery bank. He's got eight L16 batteries under here. Um, and this is an old power system built on a budget. Um, what we had here was a diversion controller with heaters so that when the battery was full, it would waste power to heat. And that's been removed. Um, but basically what we have going on here is this is a stop switch for the wind turbine. So if we turn this on, it would stop the turbine. Um, the turbine is actually stopped now automatically. Other stuff going in here mostly has to do with solar. Got an MPPT controller for the solar array. He's got a second solar, solar array that uh, I think that's still in charge of. And he's got an anemometer up there. Read it. That that logs wind speed. It also logs output, I think, of the wind turbine. I haven't seen any data from that for years. And the cool thing on this system is this controller here. This uses a PLC. Um, Roy from Windsign built this for us. We call this the WinTac controller. And what this does is looks at the output from the wind turbine. So it looks at three-phase AC coming in, and um, it's flashing now, which means it, it's shut down. Um, if there's a phase imbalance, meaning a problem with the wind turbine or the line, and there's anything wrong, any difference between three phases, this shuts the turbine down. If the battery is full at a certain voltage set point, it shuts the turbine down. Um, until either a period of time passes or battery voltage comes down to a certain point at which time it will turn the turbine back on. So this, th 
This allows the turbine not to run when it's not needed. If the battery was in fairly um, good shape, but he put on, and the wind turbine is stopped because the battery is full, but he happened to turn on some big loads, say the well pump and uh, microwave oven or something, that would pull voltage down enough to let the wind turbine run and help support that load. And then when the load is shut down, battery voltage comes back up, the turbine will stop. So this is a wonderful device. It, it uh, regulates the charge. It also saves a ton of wear and tear on the wind turbine. Here we have a battery disconnect. This is the rectifier for the turbine. You can tell it's been running some because it's kind of warm. And that's about it for this system. He's got a little chest cooler in here. Bunch of old equipment. <laughs> it's fun stuff. Now all this electric wire is for the bear. Um, he'll hook this up to keep the bear out of it because the bear has gotten in here a bunch of times. There's this little solar array. Anyhow, that's all.